So for this video, I thought we would do something a little different. In this video, I will give you five personal predictions related to CSGO investing in 2021. This is just going to be a little fun exercise that we can look back on in 2022 and just see what I got right and what I got wrong. Not only that, but I will also explain my predictions and hopefully give some of you some extra information on the topics that you possibly didn't know about before or at least didn't really consider when investing into CSGO. Before we get into it, these are my personal predictions at the end of the day and it goes without saying that I cannot see into the future. If you got your own predictions though, feel free to leave them in the comments and we can all look back to this video next year. Without further ado, let's get started with the first prediction. Number one, the case with butterfly knives will be released on May the 1st. If we go by last year, it's fair to assume Valve will release the next non-operation case after Broken Fang concludes on April 30th. This is what many people among the community predict as well. Discussions have already begun on which case will be released next and whether they will have the Broken Fang gloves in them and as a result, which cases will move drop pools. First off, I don't see Broken Fang gloves releasing in two cases in a row. The last time the same items released in cases was back in 2016 with the Gamma and Gamma 2 releases. Those seem like ancient times now and those were not both non-operation cases as well, so I just don't see it. I could see a Shadow Web-like scenario as more likely again, meaning the first case after the operation would be unrelated to the Broken Fang items and the case after that would include the gloves. Of course, we don't even know if Broken Fang gloves will be put into any other case either, but let's not discuss that now. For the case to come out on May the 1st, I went back and forth on two cases. The first is the Prisma 3 case. If you look at this chart, the Prisma case seems to have sold really well and the Prisma 2 case isn't doing badly either. So it looks like as good a time as any to release the third and final case in the collection. But then I thought, look at how popular butterfly knives are right now. Surely a new case including butterfly knives with possibly new finishes would make bank for Valve. So that's what I'm going with here. I don't think it's going to be Spectrum 3 case since Valve doesn't release a similar case after such a long time has passed. The Spectrum 2 case did come out in 2017 remember, so it's almost been 4 years. But a new case including butterfly knife seems like a no-brainer when it comes to potential sales volume for Valve. So let's predict which cases will move pools as well. As for which case should become non-prime drop next, the release of a Prisma 3 case would make the decision relatively easy in my opinion. In that scenario Valve would just move the Prisma case. But if a case with butterfly knives gets released, the decision becomes much more difficult. See, if you look at prime and non-prime drop pools, it seems like Valve doesn't just consider the age of a case or move cases at random. The moves are actually way more methodical than it looks like at first glance. The clutch case for example is the only active drop including gloves and has seen two other cases go non-prime before it. If we expect broken fan gloves or any type of gloves really to be in the case after May the 1st it's highly logical that the clutch case will go to non-prime at that time as well. So I don't see it happening just yet with the release of the butterfly knives in this hypothetical scenario. That leaves the first prisma case and the danger zone case. With the danger zone case you have to know that it contains the same rare special item as the horizon case so I wouldn't personally expect it to go non-prime until the horizon case moves to the rare pool. After all that, that leaves us with the Prisma case to still go to non-prime in May. As for the next case to become rare, Prediction number two, the Spectrum 2 case will be the next case to go to the rare pool. The way the drop pools are aligned right now, it seems like Valve wants at least one case containing specific knife finishes remaining as active drops. The Revolver case has the OG knives and finishes for example, the Chroma 3 case has the Chroma finishes and the Gamma 2 case has the Gamma finishes. The CS20 case is a candidate as well, but it moved pools last time and unless Valve really wants them gone, since the case was a special anniversary release, I see the Spectrum 2 case as the odd man out in this occasion. With the release of butterfly knives, Valve wouldn't have any problem putting the other case famous for its butterfly knives, the Spectrum 2 case, to drop out of the active rotation. If we get a Prisma 3 case on the other hand, I see the Horizon case to become rare because of the same reasoning. Its knives can be found in the Danger Zone case as I mentioned, plus it's not close to being the best selling case out of the common drops. Prediction number 3. The other case released this year will be the Clutch 2 case. With the popularity of gloves continuously growing, it's fair to assume Valve will release another case with gloves in them this year. There are only 4 glove cases out there right now, so Valve should definitely add to them. Now the only question that everyone has is whether the next glove case will include broken fan gloves or not, as I alluded to before. My prediction is they won't, but that the next glove case will rather be the Clutch 2 case. I know I previously said that Valve doesn't release another case in a series or collection after a few years have passed already, but here is the thing. the clutch case is ridiculously popular and if this graph is somewhat accurate the second most open case ever. Since the post is about 3 weeks old now it's fair to assume that the clutch case is closing in on the chroma 2 case to redeem the top spot for most open case as well. So why wouldn't Valve capitalize on this by releasing another clutch case allowing the first one to move to the non-prime pool. There have not been two cases with the same gloves yet but there is a first for everything right. In this scenario I see the CS20 case actually going to the rare pool. In the video suggested in the top right I talk more in depth about the CS20 case if you want to know more 
more of my thoughts on it, but I do think the quick drop from Prime to non-Prime shows us that Wealth plans to have the case go to the rare pool sooner than later. Prediction number 4. RMR capsules will not go on sale. Again, I've made a video on these capsules as well and just like with the CS20 case, it'll be recommended in the top right corner. Just watch the video before you charge to attack me with pitchforks if you're among those expecting a sale. As I said, this video is just on my predictions, so I'm not completely excluding the possibility of an RMR capsule sale or anything, but just predicting that there won't be one. When it comes to why I think RMR capsules won't go on sale, I see these capsules cheap enough as they are right now already. Remember, Team Sticker capsules go for 1 euro 30 on sale during majors. Now those do not include paper or gold stickers, so that does add a different dynamic entirely, but does this mean Team Paper stickers should be obtainable for 5 cents in case there is a 50% or higher discount on the capsules? You're obviously free to question how much or little wealth care about investors, but I do know they care about the economy of their games, and it's fair to assume that a large sale could impact not only their sticker market as a whole, but also their sale figures for the Stockholm Major 2, depending on the discount percentage. So if they do a small sale in the 25-30% to 30 range for a short amount of time, I don't see this being an issue, so I wouldn't disregard that possibility at all. But since people pay 1 euro 30 for sticker capsules on sale during a major, I do think Wealth could sell a bunch of these capsules regardless of whether they put them on a discount or not. Wealth did tweet that any communication on the capsules will be public, so that does open up the possibility that they will warn everyone before the capsules are discontinued, which, in my eyes, would be just as sufficient to increase sales as a discount would be. As for a sale date, I've mentioned this before, but I would pay close attention to the RMR 2021 events that are probably starting in April or May. I've tweeted this out recently and basically what I've noticed is that after the 11th season of the ESL Pro League last year, on the Friday after the tournament was over, Wealth actually released the schedule of the 2020 RMR events and they started shortly thereafter. Since the 13th season that is currently ongoing is ending almost exactly a year later and the Stockholm Major is supposed to be around the same time the Rio Major was going to take place in, I expect the schedule release for RMR 2021 to come at a similar date. Since the capsules do represent RMR 2020, it would make all the sense in the world for Wealth to update us on whether or not they're going on sale or how long we have until they are discontinued. If we go by last year, Wealth could put out an update on April 16th and discontinue the capsules on the date the first RMR event starts, which would possibly be on April 21st if we go by last year. Prediction number 5 there will be another operation release near the end of the year. With Valorant still presenting competition for Valve when it comes to their player base and the undoubtedly great monetary success of the past two operations, I don't see why Valve wouldn't put out another operation at the end of this year. CSGO is thriving right now and another operation during a time where hopefully many more people get vaccinated and we can somewhat return to our normal lives could help Valve somewhat maintain its current player count. So yeah, these are my 5 CSGO investment predictions for 2021. I personally don't think I've been too egregious with my predictions and I'm looking forward to your predictions as well. Thank you for watching everyone, have a good one.